you know, working in the area of food intolerance is often a little bit like wading through the, through the deep snow, um, finding solutions to puzzles. But, you know, let me give you an example. So basically, thinking about intolerances to cereals, to grains. Um, we, know, we all know about gluten intolerances, of course. So gluten intolerances uh, includes uh, celiac disease, for which there are reasonable tests. Sometimes it's difficult to actually diagnose confirmatively um, the gluten intolerance uh, due to celiac disease. But then, of course, we have the fructan intolerance, which is uh, a reaction to chains of fructose in exactly the same kinds of food as you will find gluten. And then there's the gluten sensitivity, for which there's no test. It's fairly well accepted now in, in allopathic and normal medicine. But uh, So when you have a reaction to cereals, it can be a wide range of things, most commonly fructans, then maybe celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. But then you have the wheat allergy as well, which is often accompanied by by reactions on the skin, or could be exercise-induced. So basically, shoveling your way through the snow here is a lot like shoveling your way through the puzzle of food intolerances.